Camworks gives you the ability to preview what your machine is going to do before you even begin machining a part. It allows you to see the movement of the tool and the preview of the finished part. This can be extremely helpful, especially when working with complex features which may require some adjustments in the operation or feature parameters. Just like when creating toolpaths, you can simulate toolpaths for individual operations by clicking on each of them or for the whole part by highlighting the turn setup under the operation tree. I can click the Simulate Toolpath icon or I can also right click and select Simulate Toolpath. This is the simulation toolbar, and these are the playback controls. I can run the simulation for each step in the toolpath, or I can use this button to run the entire simulation through the end. If the playback goes too fast, this slider here can be adjusted to slow it down. This button will return the simulation back to the beginning. The drop-down box here gives us even more control of how to play back the simulation. I find it helpful to use the Next Operation selection to play through each full operation. This button provides you with a selection view of the part. The Show Difference button shows a comparison between the part we've machined and the part as it was originally designed. The color code lets you know if each feature was overcut or undercut. This feature can be extremely helpful in determining if you need to adjust any of the operation parameters. This button here allows you to save JPEG images of any step in the simulation and can be used later in your setup sheets. The icons along the bottom control the appearance of the items you see in the simulation. You can adjust the appearance of the stock, the tool, the tool holder, and the target part you wish to machine. You can set each of these to No Display, Wireframe, Translucent, or Shaded. This button here removes leftover chips from the machined part. With the button depressed, I can select a chip then press the R or D key on my keyboard to remove it from the display. Finally, these two buttons allow you to see any collisions that may occur with the tool or tool holder. There's one more thing I want to show you with simulating toolpaths. You may have noticed that when I hover my mouse over an operation, its toolpath is displayed in the graphics area. This is the tool's trajectory, and Camworks gives us the ability to step through these toolpaths. I can right-click on the Turn Setup and select Step Through Toolpath. Here I can specify how many steps we will increment per click. And in this box, I can specify how many toolpath segments will be displayed on the screen. As I step through the toolpath, notice how there are two colors on the screen. This lets you clearly see the plane that's being cut on and the path of the tool itself when it's not actually making a cut. As you can see, simulation can be extremely helpful in making sure your program output is correct before you begin machining.